Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nano Ladies at Dawn. I remain your host, Chad of Fury 3 z 3 and this last match is going to be between Anarchid and RAR, last exhibition match for today, on Coagulation March, a map which is very wet and kind of bloody looking, and really, yeah. Here you go, it's blood everywhere. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of narrow paths, much more friendly for Amphib than anything else. I'm really casting it more of, out of curiosity, somewhat morbid curiosity, than anything else, because I don't know what to expect. I don't really see this map much. I think there's a good reason for it, but I'm not sure. I'm curious, especially now that Amphib has changed a lot, and we'll see Urar going for gunships as they did last game, which is not surprising. Anarchy going for Amphib, which is not surprising. Also would not be surprised by, frankly, ships. Like, this is a map, one of the earlier maps along the lines of things like Adansonia and Lonely Oasis, that was designed for mixed play. Like, designed specifically for mixed play. However, this map got very bridge-oriented. And having a lot of bridges and narrow paths is a great way to make the game kind of bog down. Because there's no easy way to get around, you just have to deal with a bunch of choke points everywhere, and there's no open spaces for battles. Just choke points upon choke points upon choke points. Which explains why the map isn't super popular. But that is, that is, I guess, just how this goes. Which is also why Rar is going for the gunship plant, because they don't want to deal with this. Actually going for a commander drop, from what I can tell. I mean, given they are going for the Vindicator early on. Either going for a commander drop, or they're going to try to steal Anarchid's commander. But I see no Nats. Usually the Nats are built first. Frankly, either way, this is going to be strange. Anarchid setting up. Duck along the center, duck along the southeast, duck along the north as well. I mean, there's only this one section that Rar can start in, so I'm not sure why Anarchid's being so keen on going everywhere, but there they are. They are, in fact, doing so. A little weird. And Rar not really upgrading the commander, focusing much more on the economy. Anarchid, on the other hand, focusing on defense early on. I guess they expect Blast Wings or something? Hmm. Oh, Anarchid put Anarchid, how do you know that Rar is going for a Vindicator in the chat? What the heck? Oh. Different use of the term Vindicator. Well, at any rate... Vindicator's up. Hasn't actually started doing anything yet, other than fending off ducks. The question is, is it going to be taking in Rar's commander? Is it going to be using it as a drop? The answer apparently is no. Though that answer may change, but for now, no, Rar is just getting hit hard by ducks. And as the gunship underwater question, the answer I believe is no. Except maybe Blastwing's. Maybe if you target, if you force fire in one spot, that might work, maybe, but I seriously doubt it. Or crow, maybe. But once again, I seriously doubt it. Like, seriously, seriously doubt it. Seriously, seriously doubt it. I don't expect that you get, like, I don't think there is a way of hitting underwater with gunship. With planes, yeah. Most bombers can. I think ravens can. But otherwise, no. So yeah, Rar right now, I guess their only choice is really going for a con drop. I mean, they built up the Vindicator. They're going for the Black Dawn, which I, like I said, might, I seriously doubt, but there's like an outside chance it might work underwater. Not one I'd count on personally. I'd just test it later. Which incidentally reminds me, yeah, I know I was planning on doing a testing video. Still planning on doing that. Was really busy last week. Doesn't change the fact that I do have a plan to do that. But I, but the thing is with Gunships hitting underwater, that's a known quantity. That's something that you actually code in. That's not thats not an emergent property. Like, it's a question, I'm pretty sure, of whether or not the projectile explodes on the water or can penetrate the water. I'm not sure exactly what the, what the tag is, but it's something like that. Blastwing's not, not really able to do much, unfortunately, for RAR. 
So Anarchid right now just expanding everywhere. Really. And honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm I'm curious. I wanted to see this match because I wanted to see if anything's changed with Coagulation March Marsh as a map, other than my own mispronunciation of it. But yeah, other than the Amphib Factory changing a bit, nothing's really changed. This is pretty much the same kind of weirdness that it always has been. Coagulation Marsh was never really that great of a map. Sorry, Anarchy, but it just having all these thin paths everywhere doesn't help anyone. Like, the way that Sprung's been building up stuff like Lonely Oasis, Anzonia, La Isla Bonita, those have worked really well as mixed maps. Probably in large part because there's a decent amount of land on them. Whereas this one's focused more on the water. You're not really sure. And could go in for the airplane factory because why not at this point? Might as well just bomb stuff out. I mean, RAR has barely expanded. If Anarchid, they're either going to expand with this, getting a bunch of cranes and using that, or they're just going to build up a few ravens, take out the commander, and then... Or a few swifts, take out the transport. Actually, yeah, no, transport's being used, moving around the commander. Not being used for cheese. Just being used to cart the commander around to expand faster. While well, Anarchid, on the other hand, has had a massive advantage on speed. They had a great head start for expansion. And they also have a bunch of harassment they can do, because the ducks! And RAR has no idea they are there. And none at all. Not even radar there. Gonna get visual right before the metal extractors are destroyed. If RAR is even paying attention to that part of the map, which I don't think they are. Yeah. Just now aware that all their clever economy is being torn to shreds in front of them. Rather sad. And... Okay, are they building up sky dust? That looks like what they're building up. Yeah, they're totally building that up. Okay, that makes sense. They will want to do that because the ducks. The ducks are coming in there everywhere. Actually, the main... <laughs> taking the main base. Okay, well, that'll probably do it then. Seriously, I don't... I mean, the commander is probably going to gonna go for a counterattack right now. But these ducks could probably take out the main base. Anarchid not going for it, but really, I'm sure they could. I mean, okay, yes. Lotus is a little bit scary, but there's not much here. This is it. This is totally it. That and the commander. The commander being carted away again, but like I said, Swifts. There we go. That's what we're building. Or that's what Anarchid's building is Swifts. Get that set up. Try to get rid of the commander. And the commander's been found, so yeah. Get rid of the Vindicator, because why not? What does the commander even have on it? Beam laser... Ah. Heavy particle beam. Beam laser. Doesn't really matter. The commander's kind of trapped now. And are we going to see any ravens? The answer is not yet. If ever. But probably not. Rar not building anything. They're 30 metal. Okay, I guess... The, no, car repair is not, not on here. Where are they using all this build power? There's only 16 on the commander. Okay, I guess, yeah, the crane and factory and the commander. Okay, that's 30. But it soon won't be, because the commander is not long for this world, I'm afraid. They really don't have much more going for them. Goodbye, commander. Or eventually. Maybe. It... Well, I figure there's not much time left. 30% health. Okay, maybe there is a fair amount of time left. Never mind. Tridents are way too late. I mean, Anarchids, they have a commander pretty much dead to rights. Okay, ducks can easily get in, but Wavern can. Okay, there we go. That is how the commander will die. Swifts don't even need to worry about this. It's going to die. And Rars... Okay, now their economy is pretty weak now, unfortunately. Lost a lot of what they had. I mean, they had 30 or so. A lot of that was reclaim, I believe. But still, now, nothing. And Anarchid's still ahead in the 30, so yeah. This is just... This is a weird game. I'm not sure. I'll have to keep this in mind. Coagulation March is not really worth casting. Oh, well. 
Worth a shot. Gave it a chance. Didn't really make a difference. Wyvern's almost done. The commander is actually not going to die in one Wyvern shot. Is being up no? Oh, it is. It is being upgraded. Not sure for what. Probably more auto repair. Probably more health. Probably going to be that much harder to kill as a result. And we'll see that Wyvern coming in. Is that going to do anything? Well, I had an attack order. Why are you not taking the attack order? Okay, that's really weird. Must have been... Okay, it had the attack order. It must have gotten screwed up by the airplane's rally point? No, nope, I don't know. No clue why the Reverend's not doing what it should be. Where is... Anarchids? Nope. Okay, that's weird. There we go. Little... I... What? Why are you wasting the Reverend shot on this? The commander's the way to go. Get rid of the commander. Nope, we're burn shot on the trident. That's what we're doing now. That's how this is going to go. I mean, I guess with Anarchid's massive economic advantage, they can just use Wyverns as gunship destruction. I mean, get two of them, they can destroy the gunship plant outright, not even have to worry about them ever again. I don't know. Rar's commander upgraded again. Didn't have, it looks like, more targeting, more range, I should say. More range, more build power, getting upgraded. Okay, when is this upgrade done? 90% done. And Anarchid just building up. Just continuing to expand, because why not? Hmm. Well, that worked okay, I guess. I mean, like I said, what's... Why? I just don't understand this at all. I also don't understand the lack of a caretaker here. Or rather, having only one caretaker when Anarchid has 42 metal. Okay, Strider Hub coming in here. Probably for Warlord, I guess. Just to get something along here to tear everything apart without having to worry about defenses. That would make sense, but no clue. We'll see soon enough, probably. Where's that Wyvern? Okay, the first one's actually pretty heavily damaged. Wow, those hacksaws did a number. Sheesh. Is there damage again? Oh. Yeah, 1,200 damage. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And Rar's commander with more... Wow, double auto repair? Sheesh. And that's the thing that Rarik always, always, always does, is lots of auto-repair. Because then their commander doesn't just die to attrition, it actually has to be hit continuously with a lot of damage. It has to be well and truly overwhelmed, and we are seeing a reef! Hey, I get my wish from last week! We get to see a reef! Don't really get to see that in this game very much, especially in 1v1. I guess in team games you might. But not in 1v1, that does not happen. Although this game has frankly been so strange that I don't even know how much it matters. But hey, at least it's there. It's done. And I just noticed something. The underside of this map is really detailed. I mean, okay, it's not super, super detailed, but it's still, like, it's fairly detailed. Okay. It's easier to tell when I'm above water because everything doesn't go blue. But I mean, this is probably all bot pathable. I mean, okay, not perfectly bot passable, but it's all bot passable. But it's interesting to look at. It's not just flat. There's actually something to it. And okay, ship factory, shipyard coming in from Anarchid, because why not? But I like that. It's something interesting to look at. I hadn't really noticed that before. So that's cool. But yeah, that's still there. And Rar's commander still up building a wall for itself, which against Wyverns kind of makes sense. Against potentially a Warlord, that also makes sense. Against a Reef, it doesn't really make sense. So the Reef was the right choice. Oh, wow. Wyvern... Continuing on its gunship hunting duties. 
Gunship annihilating duties. Sheesh. Was there even wreckage from that? So yeah, RAR, not producing anything so far. Not for a long time. Anarchist taking the entire map. No ships coming from the shipyard, surprisingly. Ah, oh, there we go. Just as I say that, Anarchist selects it and starts building some stuff. That's cool. All right. But yeah, the Wyverns. Three Wyverns. This will get rid of the commander. No, it won't. Not quite. It'll almost get rid of the commander. And the commander upgrades are... Oh, wait. How long? Okay, they're still working. Yeah. Not even trying. Not even trying. Just going instead for the main base. Take out the main base. Take out the factory. Take out whatever. Take out everything. That seems a good, like a good idea. I mean, why not? The commander... Although, admittedly, getting rid of the commander would probably break Rara's spirit and cause them to resign. Both the reef almost done, they pretty much can just do that anyway with the reef. So not much really to worry about, all things considered. And the reef is done! And it's stuck! Oops. The heck? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're gonna need to self-destruct one of these caretakers. Or not. Never go. Never mind. Everything works. The reef has its drones ready, and the caretakers, why not help? The main voyage to the reef. Rar preparing everything, because apparently these were not shallow enough for ships to cross through. I'm fairly certain that on the maps that Sprung made that I mentioned before, the shallow paths are actually shallow enough for ships to cross through. Not just shallow enough for for ground units to be okay. But actually shallow enough for ships. Apparently not so here. Apparently that's not the case. Oh yeah, right, that's the cool thing about reefs. They actually land normal units, or land air units. What does this thing have on it? Okay, cruise missiles, pretty standard. Bunch of drones. And it's at range, although it needs to move in a little closer for its drones. I mean, Rar's on fight move, so not likely to move in close enough for the drones. Come on, make the drones go! Ah, there we go. Oh, no, not quite. I mean, at least the reef being there means also everything gets fixed up faster. And Rar's commander is not quite down. One more shot. One more... Warburn shot, and with the Warburn's ping healed up right by the reef. That works out beautifully, and down goes Rar's commander to the Swifts, not even needing more Warburns. And that's the towel thrown in there. Didn't get to see the drones used, but hey, at least something new happened. That was that, so I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. I'm not sure that Rar really changed much there. I mean, that was the first game with the shields that was kind of interesting. That was different. Second game with the gunship actually would have been pretty powerful. If Rar had built up more metal extractors, they probably would have won that hide-and-seek game. They had a really good position to work from. They just got their commander trapped, and they didn't have a lot of forces or a lot of money for backup. But they held on pretty well when the commander died, and if they had more metal extractors, they could have built up a stronger army in the first place. This match, on the other hand, just coagulation, Marsh. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. So yeah, that was that was that. So I hope you enjoyed that. And that's it for me. So thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone.